Welcome everybody to SDW. SDW, Spade Death Wrestling. This is the new dawn that has finally occurred. Today I'm here to talk about how WWE should book LA Knight. It's not a booking video, but it's like a fantasy booking. Let's, let's talk about this. The dude needs to win matches, first of all. LA Knight really needs to win a lot of matches, get his momentum back. You know, losing matches is not the best thing for a wrestler, a WWE superstar. He needs to win the United States Championship. He needs a title. Yes, it would have been really good if they won the money in the bank, but WWE is telling a great storyline, in my opinion, to Damon Priest, and I would think there was nothing wrong to give it to Damon Priest, because the Judgment Day has just been elevated so high now, and it's, the Judgment Day is so damn fun to watch, you know, it's like the best thing on Monday Night Raw, in my opinion, one of the best things, like, I just can never get enough of Judgment Day. With Seth has been un- incredibly storytelling was on point so good brought me back to watching Monday Night Raw though Cody is a good play a good pick you know for me to you know tune in Raw but no it is the Judgment Day that's why I watch Monday Night Raw and this is how good the Money in the Bank briefcase has been influential to the Judgment Day but LA and I you know, can thrive without that. He needs to win the United States Championship. He needs to win, again, a lot of matches. A lot of, lot of, lot of pro wrestling matches. He needs to get big dubs. He needs to face, like, legends, you know. He should, you know, he faces Edge. He should, Edge should put him over. He faces, for example, he's going to face Cena sometime. When else? Cena should put him over. Cody should put him over. This guy is the next face of WWE. I'm telling you now, this is going to be the biggest fumble in the history of WWE. They have a mega star in LA Knight, and they're not pushing him the right damn way. And, and their money is going to go down the drain if they still not book him the right way. Again, people would go back to tell you about CM Punk, or you know... Roman Reigns, how he was overpushed, how overly booked he was in WWE. But this is LA Knight. This is not, you know, CM Punk or Roman Reigns. Yes, that also a thing about it. But just this dude needs to be on a rocket ship, straight to being the face of WWE. He needs to win matches. He needs to have one of the best feuds, and I think the feud he's gonna have with the Miz right now is really gonna benefit. Fit, and I finally think WWE is listening. I hope they continue on this path, people, because LA is a mega star, the future face of WWE. As soon Roman leaves, that's their guy. LA Knight is their guy. Cody again can be number two, you know, two. Seth could be also their guy. You can put Cody, Seth, LA Knight. Or probably MJF which comes over in 2024. But again, LA Knight is the best thing WWE has right now. And they cannot fumble the bag. He is a mega rising star. I have never heard that big pops. Like, you know, Bray Wyatt got pops. Everybody got pops. But, like, look at the pop LA Knight is getting. And look... How he, uh, you know, his promos, the way he cuts, he's bringing the Attitude Era fan base into play with the current product in WWE. And I think it's fantastic how it's working. A a hybrid of Stone Cold and The Rock. And for me, who, you know, really didn't grow up watching them. For me, that's like a legendary status, you know, like... My uncles watched him probably, I don't know. So, that's the thing, they grew up watching him. Um, that's the thing about, like, the Stone Cold and The Rock, they were over. And Stone and The Rock and Stone Cold are still like, if The Rock and Stone Cold come back, 
they're gonna have the like the best run they're so charismatic rock Alarino is the biggest uh, star in the world there's no doubt about that stone cold everybody else is stone cold is too so you know and we just got a mix of uh, both of them in one guy and that and it's not even like a cheap copy or something it's not how the claimed you know whatever took over the john cena rapping gimmick and i was like at first i was like i was really i was not in, in the mood i was like no i'm not in cat i'm not you know in the train to choose you know the claim getting their rap gimmick push i was like no it's kind of cringe because you know the ultimate rap gimmick was i feel like john cena's doctor of thugonomics world life you know so the claim i started liking them it's just there are the cre- again the cre- creative gives you the script uh, the creative gives you the bullet points you have to make or the script in case of wwe you have to make the best of it ellen knight can and he doesn't even need a script you know he needs his, obviously he needs a script but like his he's that over that the stuff that he says is written in the script i hope he brings dummy into wwe if he does that oh my god i think we might be looking as ellen knight as world heavyweight champion by wrestlemania clearly he needs to be world heavyweight champion and i'm gonna stop ranting again i hope this is again a big loss if they fumble the bag with la knight because the dude has busted busted his ass for uh 20 years in in the independent scene then tna impact nwa I just feel he needs to be the best of himself, and uh, I hope WWE, you know, pushes him to the moon. Call it again. He's gonna be the face of WWE. I'm telling you guys, if they do it right, he is the face of WWE. Anyways, people, it's been a while. I've ranted about some stuff. It was fun talking about pro wrestling again. Death of Spade is out. Peace.